Hey guys, this is Guy Gaming here today, back with another episode of Roblox Scripting Tutorials. Um, please excuse me if I do sound a bit rusty, because I am. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, um, but I decided that it's time to ha hop back into them. So today we're going to be doing one that's been requested for a while. We are going to be doing a teleport to another place GUI. Um, and so let's just go ahead and oh sorry people hate when I swing the camera around but let's go ahead and just get right into it um, so first thing we're going to do oops is just um, create a GUI really quick uh, yours will obviously be a lot nicer than mine um, but I'm just going to throw one together real quick so we'll just put this down here all nice and it will say um, <laughs> um, so there's my button that people will click to teleport of course you can have yours pop up or whatever you want it to do um, and so inside of that we're going to go ahead and paste a local script um, it has to be a local script um, and it has to be either in a GUI or inside the player I don't know why you would put it inside the player though, because, I mean, unless, I guess if you wanted to teleport with a button, like, hit F1 to teleport, I don't know if you can do that in Roblox. I don't know if you can bind the function keys, but that's no matter. Anyways, so let's go ahead and hop into this script. I'm going to go back to typing them out as I explain them. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you like it this way, or if you like me just walking through the completed script better. So anyways, the first thing we're going to want to do is just to get the, oops, just to get the player. Um, so game, get service, players, and then dot local player. And the only reason we need this is so that we can tell the game who to teleport. <laughs> and then next we're going to get the teleport service equals game, get service, teleport service last I am just going to get replicated storage and I will tell you why in just a second service replicated storage okay so what we're actually going to be learning today is not only are we going to be learning how to teleport a player we're also going to be showing you how to teleport them with a custom loading GUI as well um, that they'll see in between being teleported. You don't have to have this and if you don't set it it will just do the default one. Um, but here, let me show you what my um, mine looks like really quick and I think I just made it invisible like an idiot so just a second. Yep. There we go. So it just says this. Um, this will just pop up while they're teleporting. And you're going to want to put that into replicated storage. Um, or screen GUI, wherever works best for you. Um, I just put it in a replicated storage because that's the best place to put client storage stuff in my opinion. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff you can do with teleport service. Um, for example, you can teleport a player with data. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it for like their score or any kind of important save data because the transfer is client sided and so um, people with hacked clients can intercept the transmission of data and change it. So like if they leave one place with 500 points they can join the next place with a million points. Um, so I don't recommend sending data over the teleport service. You can send a data, um, you can send um, like just local settings pretty much, stuff that's kind of insignificant, like maybe if they're using a controller or something like that, um, which you could always just get in the next place anyways. Um, <laughs> So there's definitely more to go into, into depth with with teleport service. So if you have any questions or would like to have anything further explained, um, first of all, you can hop onto the Roblox Developer Hub or the Wiki or whatever the heck it's called now. Check out teleport service. Um, there, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. Or post a comment down below and I will make a, another tutorial um, 
on teleport service and we can explore some of the more interesting functions like for example you can teleport a whole group of people at once you can teleport players to a specific instance um, but today we're just going to be learning how to teleport players to a place now this can be a place within your game or it can be a place within a completely different game so somebody else's one of your other games today we're going to be teleporting to my museum um, just because I already know the place ID for that one I'll be showing you how to get the place ID as well um, but anyways let me finish this I've been talking too much so mouse button one down connect function like this and then we'll say end. I don't know why I put an extra parenthesis there. Alright, and so if you remember this line just tells the tells the interpreter look when this button is clicked we want to when the button is clicked we want to call this function that we just made and we're defining our um, what is our function in here? Um, so all we're going to do is just say teleport service dot set um, teleport GUI. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> and then all you have to do is reference your GUI. So I'm going to say replicated storage, find first child. Then I will say teleport GUI because that's what I called mine. Um, just change that with whatever you called yours and then obviously you want to change replicated storage to wherever you put it um, Everything is case sensitive by the way I always forget to say this and I need to say it type everything in the same case I am if it has an uppercase keep it an uppercase if it's a lowercase keep it a lowercase um, Programming is very case sensitive and it's important that you remember that um, and then so the next line is where we do the real work and all we're going to say is teleport and if I remember correctly um, first we need the place ID and then we need to pass in the player that we're going to teleport which is ourselves I don't know why it needs that parameter since this is client side anyways um, but I'll go ahead and now we're gonna hop into Google Chrome and I'm gonna show you where to get the place ID alright so here's the place that I want to teleport to um, let me actually show you how to get here. So if it's one of your places, um, you're going to want to go to create. If it's someone else's, you can just find it and, like, you know, pull up the page. I'm not sponsoring this game. This was just the first one I clicked. I don't even like it. But if it's one of your places, um, click create or develop or whatever he the heck the buttons, this button right here says at the time you watch it. They change that button like every other week. Um, and then just click on start place of whatever place you'd like to teleport to. So in this case, I'm teleporting to a completely separate game. Um, but like I said, you can teleport to different places within a game. So now, um, to get the ID, all you do is grab this number right here. You can see it says roblox.com slash game slash number slash the name of the place and so now you just copy that paste that in there and then you're good to go oops like that there we go and so now that's pretty much all you need to be honest um, there's a lot of stuff you can do on the receiving game end, like you can pop up a message that says this player teleported in um, like your game can actually tell when someone teleported in instead of just joining in um, but like I said we'll save all that stuff for future tutorials I wanted to keep this one short and simple since I am just coming back um, and getting used to this again so now that we've done that I actually have to go ahead and um, I actually have to go ahead and publish this place because you can't teleport from studio. See, I get an error that says cannot teleport in the studio. So I'm going to publish this and I will be right back. Alright guys, so here I am in the published version of my tutorial land. Um, so you can see here is my button. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it and it does take a few seconds to actually teleport so you might want to throw up a loading screen. Um, earlier than the actual teleport but then you'll see it pops up my teleporting screen and throws me into the new place 
Um, sorry about the shadows. I don't know what Roblox is doing with my shadows here, but it's... I need to put like a light in here or something. Um, but anyway, so you see that the lo the loading screen didn't stay up for too long. That's just because this place is small. It seriously probably has like a c maybe a hundred parts in it right now. Um, it's still under construction. And so once if you're teleporting into a bigger place, that loading screen should stay up longer. Um, and like I said, it does take a second for the teleport to actually initiate, so you might want to pop up a loading screen as well on your place once you initiate the teleport before they actually get teleported. Um, so that pretty much is going to do it for this tutorial. Um, like I said, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials pertaining to teleport service or not, Please be sure to leave them down in the comments. If you have any issues, um, leave those down in the comments as well. Um, if you decide to do so, please be sure to include the error output of any errors that you're getting. Um, in Studio, it's just down here. You can pull up the output in the View tab um, up here. Just output right there and then just copy the error, paste it in the comments, or um, since you'll have to be running the teleport stuff from the studio or from the published place anyways, if it's your place that you're teleporting in, you can actually go into settings and open the developer console, and then you will have um, be able to access the output as well. Um, everything, all the errors you run into should be on the client side, um, but you might want to check server just in case. So if you don't see anything in studio and you're still running into errors when you publish it, you can check here. And so that's a good place to look. But anyways guys, um, that is going to do it for this video. Um, like I said, short and sweet because I'm just coming back. I apologize if I was a little rusty. Um, I hope you did find this helpful and please let me know if you did and like i said any future suggestions any help down in the comments but other than that guys i hope you have a great day and i will see you all in the next one goodbye